Hey everyone, we are going to do something a little different. Uh, we're going to try two flip cups and a dirty pour um, using Lucas Rose, Soho's Rose Matter, Soho Magenta and Black. Um, I did a little swatch over here to see if all the colors jived, and I did. Um, I would love to throw some Carnacadone Rose in there, but I just think it's more on the orangey side. Well, maybe not. Let's give that a little, let me just shoot that one in there. I don't have any silicone in this one. But, if I put it in the bottom of the cup with the WD-40, I think we'll get cells with it that way. So that's what we'll do. <laughs> so undecided. Okay, so I'm going to spray these three cups with WD-40 silicone spray. You can get that on my Amazon shop. Along with all my supplies. They also carry it at Walmart. I think my husband found it there. He bought me another can for Christmas, which <laughs> I haven't even used a quarter of this yet. So they'll last you forever. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to start with this color, I guess. I'm going to just set this canvas here. I don't normally start a pour with a color. Sometimes I do. But since we're doing a pour and flip cups, it doesn't really matter. So I want to make sure that I get enough in there. Because I don't want to use it again. So that will be the end of that one. My mailman's bringing me a big box. <laughs> okay. So I guess I better break that up with some black. Follow that with the Lucas Rose. And then I'm going to go ahead with the Rose Matter because it's darker. And then some magenta. Back to the black. I am a little heavy on that black, aren't I? I hope I'm not going to regret that. <laughs> Too late now. There's no going back. I'm trying to, like, stir these colors in while I'm pouring. Okay. Trying to break up the black is what I'm trying to do. All right, we have plenty of paint. And I already know this is the cup that I want to pour. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and move my canvas here. And we're going to flip these cups. down. All right. Pretty, pretty, pretty. That rose looks like white in there, doesn't it?
But see, that Cranacridone did nothing there. It got nothing. So we are definitely going to be pouring that off. Okay. I'm just going to move it around right now before I pour that last cup. You'll notice sometimes when you do two or three flip cups, your paint has these definitive lines of separation. I could take that cup and put it in the middle and flip over top of all of this, but I'm not going to do that. I'm working to get that off. And I'm going to go ahead and take it over the edge there. So I know that's probably where I'm going to start my flip cup. <laughs> or my dirty pour. Sorry. I get y'all confused. like that line there so let me see if I can stretch it out just a little bit because I really don't have much going on here that I like so I'm going to stretch it this way So what I have coming up through that black right now is that Lucas Rose mixing in. It looks almost gray. Caca. I don't like it. All right. So let me do a little magic here. Definitely going to pour through here. So I think I'm going to come around and loop it out. That's my intention anyways. <laughs> so let's see what, maybe I'll give it a little stir are a mess. Ugh, I can see the gray already. May not be liking this one. Oh, and that Cranacridone Rose is just right there, wasn't it? Let's get rid of it real quick. Okay. Now we have some work to do. Because you know me, I can't leave anything alone. <laughs> Lots of grays in this one. I don't like it. I don't like when the two colors mix. Because to me it's like when you mix orange and purple and get mud. So when you mix black with yellow, you'll get greenish tinges and I just love black and yellow together, but it's very hard to get it to play nice on a canvas. Okay. There's a lot of paint here, so I can still play. I'm working to bring this this way because it's kind of just sticking out. And I'm losing all that pretty cell action we had there. My bad. I did it. Did I do that? <laughs> I sound like Steve Verkle. <laughs> So this I don't like here now. So I'm just rocking with a slow tilt. I should have just did a pour instead of the flip cups because 
I can control the pour more than I can the flip cups. So once that grayish edge goes, and I'm going to come back. different. Everybody's probably clicking thumbs down, thumbs down. <laughs> but you haven't seen it dry yet. Okay, let me torch it and see what we've got. I love this coming through. This is starting here. Not sure about that. Making mud. Look at the mud. Mud. I hear kids. I keep telling my husband I want to move to a community where it's 55 and over, older and they don't have grandkids. I love children. I have grandkids. I love children. I just don't want to live by them. <laughs> I'm getting crotchety in my old age. How's that sound? Is that a word, crotchety? Come on, paint. Give me some cells. Just a few. Just a few, please. Nope. Not very nice. I did a painting about an hour ago. Um, a black painting and had a lot of parts with no cells and I just checked it before I started this video and it's starting to sell up so yes they do change as they dry and for all of you that do not use silicone kudos to you because I don't like anything I do if it doesn't have a few cells in it That's the whole uh, thing. Everybody wants cells. What can I use to get cells? So those of you that are getting them without silicone, teach me. <laughs> I use Floetrol and I don't get cells. I am really loving that look. It looks like a slab of, well, if it had more white, it would look like rhodochrosite through here. But I will take what I've got. So if you have not subscribed yet, go ahead and click below. Click on the bell and you'll be notified when I upload my next video. Click like and share, leave a comment. Share, 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 by the way. Um, we get more subscribers that way. We're going to get our giveaways going quicker. And also, um, join me on Facebook at Christina Welch Art. You can see dried paintings there. I post them about once a week. And if I'm doing something that I'm not filming, I'll post that there. Sometimes I'll just do a little bonus video for the people that follow me there that I don't put on YouTube. Check out my Etsy shop. I'm running a big sale right now till June 1st. 25% off everything as long as you use the code BIRTHDAY since it's my birthday month. I love that band right there. It is so cool. And shop with me on Amazon. Get all your supplies. You guys have been great ordering stuff. Mm -hmm. And I've been finding a few things that you're ordering that I don't have in my shop that I've added. So I see what the supply and demand, right? So if it's there, if they discontinue some items or they're not available, I'll try to find another one and list that. But um, 
A few things I did take off because I don't think they're going to get them back in. But they did get the uh, saddle stools back in. I love my saddle stool. I know you can't see it, but it's on my Amazon shop. It's very comfortable. My back does not bother me. And I can sit here for hours and paint, and I have no back pain. So check that out as well. But thanks for joining me, guys. This was my last painting for the day. Have yourselves a great time, and I will see you on the next one. Bye now.